So I wanted to close things off, um, first of all, by thanking you all for being here. Um, we've come a long way as a community. We've come a long way as a conference. Um, a year ago at MesosCon, we had 260 people. This year, we have over 700. Um, and it's really amazing. You know, there tend to be leading indicators in open source communities about what's to come. And you can kind of benchmark you know, what the future looks like based upon that. And based upon what I've seen at this conference, I'm pretty excited about the future because the, the velocity of the project itself, but also the work that I see you all doing at different stages of development in the next year is gonna be incredible. So I'm looking forward uh, to future Mesos cons, to future conferences and growing those. I wanted to kind of reiterate a few themes that I saw in this conference that I think really differentiate it from a number of other open source conferences. So the first of which is that today, Mesos runs in production. This is not some abstract idea or some futuristic thing. Today, this power is from some of the largest companies in the world, Mesos runs. And that's powerful and it's exciting. It's also an opportunity for us to learn from one another. And that's why conferences like this, I think, are really valuable. Another big differentiator of this conference and something that I hope that we continue in the future, and I invite you all to help us participate in the future, is that this is a community-driven conference. Everyone who participated on the program committee is a volunteer. The actual CFP review process was done by members of the community. We actually invited members of the community to provide feedback to actually vote on the proposals. And we tried to, you know, do the delicate bands dance between working very closely with vendors to help subsidize the costs of the event, but making sure that this really highlighted what developers were doing in the community. Um, and I think that's strong, that's really important for the future of the project. And it's also, it also means that we can have the meaningful conversations um, that we all need to have in order to kind of progress in the future. So I'm really, really proud of that. Moving forward, I think there's some opportunities for us to continue being involved, and I want to kind of close on that note. So as you leave Mesos Con today, um, you will go back to your home city. Um, the lights are a little bright right now, so I won't ask everyone from where they're from. We should have done that at the beginning, but uh, seeing the attendee list, I can tell you that folks came to Mesos Con from all around the world, and that's exciting. Um, this is no longer just a Silicon Valley thing. This is kind of taken off. You guys know that, it's exciting. What we've seen in the past year, though, are, is that we've seen the emergence of user groups locally. So originally we had a Bay Area user group, and today we have a ton of user groups um, kind of all around the world. So my dream job, I guess Ben H kind of does this today, but is to kind of travel around to all these cities and give talks randomly, uh, not randomly, but to get to meet everybody. Uh, but the community is so big now. So I'll just list off really quickly where we're at today. We're in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Paris, Cologne, Amsterdam, London, Atlanta, Austin, Dallas, Denver, LA, New York, San Francisco, and here in Seattle, these are user groups that are all dedicated to Mesos and its ecosystem. And these are groups which are driven by people like you. Um, so if you're interested in, in really jazzed about Mesos, you're going back to your home city, and you live in a city that isn't on this list, or a town, or a village, you know, it could be anything, start small. Um, I'd encourage you to consider creating and establishing a group and kind of driving driving the community forward. Um, I asked on Twitter who was interested in creating additional groups. I've already heard interest in, in a Berlin user group, which is pretty cool, and Chicago. Are there any other cities where folks want to or are interested in creating user groups? Boston. There is a Boston user group, actually, recently established. And back there? Hawaii? Is that, I heard a Honolulu user group? Honolulu. I'm just coming up with names of cities I want to visit. So there are lots of opportunities, um, lots of opportunities to create user groups. I encourage you to leave this conference. The user and dev mailing lists are a great place to have those types of conversations. And lastly, putting on a conference like this is a huge effort. Uh, first of all, I want to make sure we thanked the Linux Foundation. The Linux Foundation um, handles the logistics for this event. It was phenomenal. So let's show, give a showing of hands for, for the great work that they did there. I don't think any of us as volunteers could have booked a venue as awesome as last night's party um, without their help. So in addition to that, just everything between catering and making sure everything works so smoothly is phenomenal. Um, 
in addition to the, to the Linux Foundation, we had a group of program committee members that uh, volunteered to help out. And I wanted to make sure I called them out by name. If you hear your name and you're still here, I know folks have kind of snuck away or they're hiding in the hallway, uh, but please stand so folks can recognize you. Uh, Chris Anazik, Stephen Borelli, Kirsten Gaffney, Arunab Ghosh, David Greenberg, Isabel Jimenez, Vinod Kone, John Pompich, Abhishek Palakar, Chris Schaefer, Ken Seip, Tim St. Clair, and Timothy Chen. Thank you very much for helping with MesosCon. <laughs> and lastly, folks have been asking, all right, I'm stoked about MesosCon, I'm stoked about Mesos. When's the next one? And we're really looking forward to um, future events. And we don't have a specific time or location to announce today. But what we'll be doing is within the next week, we'll be following up with an email that's pretty important. First of all, it will have videos from all of the talks at this conference. So we're going to be posting them on YouTube. They'll be under a Creative Commons license. And you know, if you're like me, there were talks, you know, two or three talks happening concurrently that I all wanted to go to. So that'll be a great opportunity. Share it with your colleagues. Be the evangelist within your company and your community. But in addition to that, we're going to be running a community survey to understand what you thought went really well at this conference and where you think we can improve. And in addition to those of you that are here, we're hoping to extend this to folks that aren't here um, to understand where we should grow in the future. Um, you know, we've seen tremendous growth in interest in the, pro in the project and in this conference in particular in the past year. We want to make sure that we grow in a way that allows people to not have barriers of travel and conference budget and size um, inhibiting their participation in the community. So we really want this to continue to be a grassroots and community-driven event, and I'm pretty passionate about the future and optimistic about what that looks like. So thank you very much for coming to MesosCon, and we'll see you next year.